So how are you all today? Fine now? Let's begin the third chapter of science today. So the third chapter is the digestive and excretory systems. So what are we going to read in this, in this chapter? The key concepts are the organs related to the digestive system and excretory system, their functions, what is the importance of chewing food, what is the importance of regular bowel movement and the healthy habits related to digestion and excretion. So this is what we are going to discuss and know in this chapter 3 that is the digestive and excretory systems. The food that we eat gives us energy to live, protects us from diseases and repairs our body. When we eat food, it gets broken down into simpler forms. And the process by which food is broken down into simpler forms for easy absorption by the body is called digestion. The organs that help in digesting the food in our body are called digestive organs. And these organs form the digestive system. So now what are the organs related to this digestive system? They are the mouth, esophagus, esophagus is what? The food pipe through which the food which we chew from the mouth gets transferred to the stomach. That, uh, that pipe is called esophagus. So the organs related to the digestive system are the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, anus. So how many organs did I say? There are all seven, eight, seven to eight main organs related to digestive system. The process of digestion starts in the mouth. The food is chewed and crushed in the mouth with the help of what? With the help of teeth. In the mouth there is a fluid which is called saliva. It gets mixed with the food in the mouth and then it becomes easier for us to swallow the food. And this saliva also helps in the digestion of food. The food pipe which is also called the esophagus is a long thin tube like structure that connects the mouth to the stomach. It is a little less than a foot long. From the mouth the food is transferred to the stomach through the esophagus. The next organ related to the digestive system is the stomach. The stomach is a bag like organ made up of muscles. The food is churned into soft pulp in the stomach. Next is the small intestine and the large intestine. The small intestine is a thin tube that is approximately 20 feet long. From the stomach food is passed to the small intestine. Here the food is further digested with the help of bile juice from the liver and the nutrients is then absorbed by the walls of the small intestine. Then comes the large intestine. The large intestine is a 5 feet long tube like structure. The undigested food from the small intestine is passed to the large intestine. The large intestine then absorbs excess water from the undigested food and forms waste called feces. The feces are stored in the rectum and then expelled from the body through the anus. That's all for today children. In your next class I will be discussing the excretory system. Bye till then. Take care.